This afternoon, there were a few obvious moments that changed the tone of the demonstrations as police interacted with the protesters. Two News reporter Adam Rife continues our team coverage with how those moments resonated with other people. They were two simple acts that had a big impact here on North Fairfield Road. Taking a knee and then giving a hug changed the tenor of this afternoon's demonstration. People are still angry. They are still frustrated. But today, for many, there was an understanding. If they saw that video and they didn't see injustice, why are they still on the force? Hundreds of people releasing deep-seated frustrations Monday after using tear gas to control the crowd. One police officer approaching the protesters and answering their call. The police then spoke directly to the protesters. After a while, the police started talking to us, and they even kneeled for us and stuff like that, and that really changed the whole thing. Moments later, an officer singled out a young boy for a hug. It's great to see him again since we've been out of school for a long time. 11 year old Alex came to tell police George Floyd needs justice. He got to see a school resource officer for the first time in months. One of the reasons he wants to be a police officer one day. Once they seen all the love and realized we wasn't really out here trying to cause no trouble, I think they kind of just, you know, was like, okay, this is more peaceful, so we go ahead and let it go. It didn't solve every problem. More changes are needed, and some people are still afraid. Us black people have to communicate to, like, our children, like, we may not come home today we may not come home but several generations I see a lot of people that are not black um, that are here and I know they care for us are trying to make a difference we just want change that's it we just want something done we just want to stop being killed that's it that's it Back out live, this intersection of North Fairfield Road and Pentagon Boulevard cleared out fairly quickly once that curfew went into effect at 8 o'clock. But some people did start to drive back an hour later to clean up water bottles and trash that have been left behind. Live in Beaver Creek, Adam Wright, 2 News, working for you.